Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the VLOOKUP in, in VBA. That is, we shall write some macro um, on VLOOKUP. Um, also in VBA, we shall use the VBA to insert a picture in these merged cells. So this is cell G5, So, but the cells are merged. So without further ado, I'm going to create a data validation here. So that is because we have the data here. So for different species of dogs, so we shall use this ID number um, in cell C5 in the worksheet RPT or the report worksheet. So let us do that. So you select uh, this column starting from A1 control shift down arrow then on the formulas tab uh, select create from selection so that is the top row then click ok so that creates the name range but we shall also create a name range for the entire uh, database starting from a2 so select a2 control shift right arrow then control shift down arrow and then um, in the name box type database then enter so then we go to the report worksheet so if you click on ID number uh, here so we are going to um, create a data validation so to create the data validation you press on alt dl then tab l tab then here press f3 select id number then ok then click ok so that creates a data validation so here we have the drop down so for the different id uh, number of the dog so then um, we shall start by inserting the picture here. So therefore we need the dog type here. Uh, since uh, in the pictures we have um, the dog type name. So here for example, I may, let me type uh, for example Rotwella. Then now we go to the um, Visual Basic Editor. So that is press Alt F11. So that is the Visual Basic Editor. In the Visual Basic Editor, um, press on Alt IM to insert a module. So we have inserted the module here. So in this VBA, we can see the database so that is the sheet with database so that is db so this one and then we have the report sheet so in the vba it is called report so this one here so there are two sheets so then here i'm going to create a subroutine so that is sub uh, dog picture Then in this subroutine, so I will declare some variables. So that is dim dog as string. So this will be the file path of the dog picture. Then uh, pick dog as picture. then maybe er this will be the error handler so here uh, we shall start by uh, deleting the any picture in the worksheet so we simply say report so as i've said report is the worksheet name uh, dot uh, pictures dot delete then 
uh, we also need to clear uh, that the cell g5 where the picture will be inserted so we say report dot range g5 dot clear clear contents and then so here we shall have that is width or we simply copy this uh, that is the cell where the picture will be inserted so we paste here and say that is that cell dot select and then we say width uh, that cell so we have set pick dog equal to so that is pick dog equal to a report dot pictures dot insert so insert dog Again, here we say with pick dog so dot dot height so so that is dot height so let us see what will be the height so that is for this particular cell so by moving this um, the row a5 I mean the row the fifth row up to some point here and then we check the height so the height is around 122 so let me undo that so control Z so then we go to VBA so the height here we've seen is 122 then dot dot top so aligning it to the top then dot um, placement is equal to excel move and size so then we end width so this is supposed to be width so then we end with here so end with and we end with again so for the first a width so we say end with and then at this point we exit we exit the sub because we shall uh, create the error handler so let us create that error handler here so we say on error go to ERR or R so then here below exit sub you type ERR with the columns and then um, so if there is error so what do we do so if there is error we say that um, this range so that cell will read no photo is equal to no photo and that is it so let us try to run this code we see whether the the picture of the dog will be inserted so that is in this um, cell here so let us go back to the VBE. So I move this to one side and then we press F8. 
so press F8 so that means there is an error so that is the picture was not found so why we are getting that error is because we do not have the the file path so let me get the file path first so we go to the pictures of the dog so after right clicking so you press on properties then select security so this is where you have the full path of the of the picture so then copy and then go back to the visual basic so then we paste here so we paste that uh, file, uh, path file there then that is dog so you type dog there is equal to double quotes so in between the double quotes paste that file path then remove the name of the dog here then um, we copy this I mean we, we we get the name the range here so that is this cell here so it is cell E13 so cell E13 so we type here that is report dot range So double quotes there, then we type uh, E13. Then since the, the file path uh, is in PNG, so we put an ampersand there, double quotes. So in between we put dot PNG. And also here, we need to concatenate that so we put an ampersand so that way so let us now go back and try to run this code so you press f8 so here we we need um that is um, double quotes or we simply write vb null string that is to clear the content of that uh, cell so then let us try to run the code again so press f8 and that is the picture of the dog so let us stop that one and then we insert another one so for example uh, the german shepherd so let us try so press f8 so that is the german shepherd so and the code is running well so let us try the last one before we go to the other code so we go back to the vba and we run the code press f8 so you see every time we run the code the picture is deleted and a new one is inserted so that way so if you type if you um if you type a wrong number that is a wrong id here so of course there will be a, an error or if this is empty so let us run the code and we see so it goes to the error handler 
and insert no photo so that is good so then now we go to the other code so that is on vlookup uh, using the vba so that means we clear now this content so this is the formula we shall use in the vb in the vba so let us clear that but we need uh, to insert for example um, an id number there because we shall use this cell as our vlookup a value so we go to vbe and then we insert a new module so alt im and then here we call this sub dog management so in the dog management so we simply um, write with a report dot re range so we start with uh, with this cell c7 so with the range c7 so equal to so because now we are in the vba we shall use the square bracket um, which uh, will handle the worksheet function so you press the first square bracket vlookup first bracket so you type count so that is the lookup value cell c5 so it is called count comma so database so that is the the vlookup table there comma uh, so c7 so that is dun or dog unique number is in column so let us check the column so it is in column two so the name column three gender column four dog weight in column five so let us continue in the coding so so here we we have two so that is column two that is column index two and since we want exact match so we put a zero there close bracket then close square bracket so let us run that code and we see whether it will put a number in c7 so press f8 so we need to put end with here so now press f8 and there we have the value so for the name so we copy this one paste here so let me stop the code first so paste that one so name is in column c9 so then i mean is in cell c9 then uh in the database it is in column 3 so let us run that one press f f8 and there is the name of the dog so then again we stop this one so we copy these two and this time we are in uh, cell c11 that is the gender which is in column four and then uh, this will be the dog weight which is in cell c13 uh, column five so let us run that one but we need to clear this one first and then we run the code so press f8 that is perfect so now we get the values for so these are the details that is the kennel number 
birth date, check date, and the next check date and dog type. So we shall just copy these four and we paste down here. So this will be E5. So that is five. Then this will be E7. So this is E what? So E E9. And this will be E11. So one more. So that is the dog type. So it should be in cell E13. So now we put the columns uh, in the data uh, the database. So for kennel number, we have seen it is in column six. And then birth date is in column seven. And then check, check date column eight. Next check date column nine. And then the dog type. So let us check the dog type. dog type is in column 10 then dog information uh, in column 11 so this is column 10 then the dog information is in column C So can paste here. So it is in column. I mean, is it is in the tenth column, but the cell reference is C16. So here we type C16. And I think that is complete. So let us run this code and we see whether it will load this data so we clear this first and then we press f8 so we are now checking on this other side so press f8 so one one thing is missing And that is um so this should be column 11 for dog information so we stop that one we clear these cells again clear this one clear this one also so then we run f8 again so let us observe So press F8. And that is perfect. So all the data uh, is loaded for that particular dog. So now I want us, as we select the drop down uh, uh, button here, so the data to be loaded automatically and also the photo to be loaded automatically. So how do we do that? So we go back to the VBE. And then we stop that code. So we select report our worksheet in the VBE. So here we select worksheet, then select change. And then we clear that one. So here we shall say if target dot address 
is equal to range a c5 dot address then So what do we do? So we call so we call the sub that is called dog management. And then we call the sub call dog picture if. So we click and if and then we stop this from running. So minimize, select a value here. So that way. So as you can see, the picture of the dog is inserted. So if the dog, a picture is missing, so this cell will read uh, no, no photo. So we select another one. So there's no photo for that one. So let me type uh, this one so you can see that is the the rottweiler so then we type this one so that is the a german shepherd what about this one so that is the the labrador retriever or you can select any cell here and you will get the the different dog information so and so on so thank you for watching my video and please subscribe so see you in the next videos